Hey everybody, I have a share and a haul today. Um, so if you don't want to watch the share, just fast forward to the to the haul, okay? Um, but first the share. Um, I spent some time making Christmas cards this weekend. So what I decided to do was I do have family members and friends that I want to send cards to. Um, and I usually start in July, but I didn't this year um, to make cards and to alleviate some of the stress that I have usually around not getting my cards done I decided I would use a card kit this year um, to kind of augment what I have to hand make um, so I know I have a lot of relatives and you probably do too who don't really care about the cards they just want to make sure they get one um, <laughs> and then they just chuck it I don't know um, so I did spend some time making cards um, actually two days um, putting these cards together but I used the card kit and then I also hand stamped the envelope because I had never used this set that I purchased last year from Paper Tray Ink. It's called Pleasing Envelopes and so you get a bunch of different things for sending and you can decorate the envelope. So since I hadn't used this I figured this would be the hand made part of it. Um, well, not handmade. It's all handmade, um, but the hand stamped part. So I decorated each of the envelopes and there are about 20 cards and I used my stamp apparatus to go through and, um, do the layers because this is a layering stamp and different inks that match the actual cards that I made. So this envelope and all the others were just mass produced and it takes time to, to switch the layers and the colors and everything to um, decorate the envelope. So this will be when I send it out to friends and family, this will be the hand stamp part. And then I'll put my address on the this, this side. Um, but here's some of the um, cards that I did put together from the card kit. This is an Anna Griffin card kit. And I don't believe that I actually bought this um, kit. I think this was a gift um, from one of my um, crafty friends. And I think it was Paula. And I don't know if Paula watches my videos, but you can see this is the Anna Griffin Festive Flips card making kit and cutting dies. Um, I used to buy these a lot um, when she was putting them together where she, you could only get the good dies by buying the actual kit. And I've stopped doing that since then. I've actually stopped buying her stuff just because I've spent my money elsewhere. Her kits are not cheap and I, you know, I didn't want this to go to waste. So I used the kit itself to make my Christmas cards this year. And I believe it was 20 or so that I could make. There's probably more than that. Um, so these are the Christmas ones um, that I put together. And I had a kit also of the bows and, and envelopes and um, envelope liners. I didn't mention that these are all lined. I, I did that as well. So um, all the envelopes will be lined with this gold foil. And then all of the um, envelopes will be stamped like this. <clears throat> But these are the cards I put together, and you can see that I used colors that um, coordinate together when you look at the envelope and the card. And this is a flip card, so you open it like this, and you can put a tag here, or you can put a tag here, or you could put both. You know, you could put one on the inside and one on the outside, but there aren't enough sentiments that go on the insides part that would also go on the outside in terms of making sense if you had two sentiments there. So some of them have two, some of them just have the one. Um, and so this is an example and I'll just go through quickly cause I don't want to take too much time up and you can see again, the envelopes coordinate with the ink colors that I chose to decorate. Um, and, and they're, they're all different, even though I use the same, sort of supplies for each one they are all individual looking not that they i don't think they'll complain but <laughs> um they are all you know put together pretty much the same way um you know anna griffin has beautiful colors and and style so very elegant christmas cards um there's a lot of foiling here, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use it. I seem to have this foil addiction right now. If you watch any of my past videos, that's what I've been playing with. And I think it makes a nice Christmas card. So those are the sample of Christmas cards. And I, as I said, I made 20 cards. I put together 20 cards, and I put together 20 or so envelopes. Um, just so in case I mess up, I can 
I have a replacement one and I'll have to go stamp at the time if I mess it up and I'm writing them up. So this is the kit that I used um, to put together the actual cards. The envelopes came out of a different kit. Um, okay, and that one should have had envelopes in it. I don't know where they went. Um, like I said, I think it was a gift from um, another crafty friend. So on to the haul. This is a new company to me. Um, I had been, I've been on Instagram and looking through my feed and then saw these, I tracked down this company. It's in France. If you look at the website, it says .fr. Um, and they have dies and stamps. Um, I don't know how much they sell, but I saw some things that I wanted I hadn't gotten before um, through companies here in the U.S. or, you know, whatever, based elsewhere. Um, so this is a sewing die, and you can see it comes with this tag that already has the holes in it, but it also comes with these smaller pieces here that you can die cut and you can then stitch. So I did get this. I got this little tea set. So I got that. And it has two cups and two different tea um, pots. And then these are all going to be florals. So um, some florals that I don't think I've seen before here, um, designed by companies here. So I decided I would pick them up. And I think I got a dupe of this. I don't know how that happened, but some different shapes of leaves and um, such. So this is a very modern looking set. Um, this is eucalyptus. I had to get this one because I thought, oh, this will be good for different size eucalyptus. And then this one here. So that is the new company that I discovered. Um, Simply Graphic is what it's called. And you can see that website. Okay. So from Tailored Expression, they had a new release last week. Um, here's my freebie. I think it's the Thanks die. Um, and they always include some sort of freebie in their supplies. Now I've been looking for this for a while. My friend Kathy showed it to me, um, but it was out of stock when I was looking for it, or I was thinking, oh, that costs too much. I don't want to get it right now, but I finally got it, finally got it in. Um, and this is a, it's a sponge inside of a plastic container and it's meant for, um, taking your die cuts <clears throat> and gluing them down. So a lot of times when you have like a very, uh, fine, uh, die cut, which I'm failing to find here. Let's see if I, I got one right here. Of course, he got crushed. So let me straighten him out a little bit. So this is a die cut of a deer. And you can see there's antler, antlers on here. And it kind of got bent up. Um, but you would take the die cut and just kind of lightly press it into the glue. And then you can die cut it. You can add it to your piece. Um, things like where you have the small pieces like the antlers or maybe it's a face or something like that where it's really tiny and it's hard to get a glue dot in there not in a glue dot but a dot of glue from your dispenser um, or it's more tedious to use the dispenser that's what this is for so um, I heard good things about it I wanted to try it out this will last a very long time because down in the bottom here is the glue. And as you use up the top layer of the glue, you have this bottom piece here to, to kind of refill. But I think this is refillable too. I'm not sure. Um, so the new release items. Here we go. So this is the stamp and die, strip, die set for mini strips. They released two this time around. This is the the um, Harvest mini strips. They have one for Halloween, but since I don't really create for Halloween, I didn't buy it because I knew I wouldn't use it. So here are the mini strips. And this is um, a smaller set than the other. And you'll notice that the banners in here are just straight across. There's no tails cut into the sides. So this is very much like the other ones I've shown that I foiled with. Um, and there's just a few more, few less sentiments than the other set. So this is a mini set. And they, like I said, they've released more with um, the idea that you could just reuse this die. So every time you buy the new stamp set, you don't have to buy the new die because it, it matches up to all of them. And then I got the stamp and die set for this. Um, this is called Simply Smitten. I like the bear. <laughs> That's the reason I got it. I like the bear. So I got the die set and the stamp set. Not that I had to buy the die because I could have just used my scan and cut for it. 
Um, so I just thought it was cute. And then I got this background set um, for shiplap. And I think this is A2 size. So four and a half by 5.75. So it's larger than an A2 size card. So it will go edge to edge. Uh, and then here's the freebie that they included if you ordered over a certain amount. I don't know what the amount is. Um, but I got the free paper pad. And like I said, I don't really um, create for Halloween. So I'll probably gift this to a friend that does. Uh, and then I got in an order from Ellen Hudson. And they were having a sale um, for Friendship Week or something like that. So I put in an order. I got the freebie that they always include, which is the ribbon. This one has <laughs> a dum-dum in it. And on the front, it says, I'm a sucker for you. So there's a sucker inside and it's a lemon one. Soda, no, it says soda cream pop. Uh, wow, I'm guessing that it has some weird flavor. Okay. Um, so for my order, the thing I really wanted was this die set. I've been meaning on getting it. Um, this is a flower pot card. So there's the flower pot. And then it has all of these additional items to decorate the flower pot. But you can make it into a shaker if you want because they've included this layer here. So um, you could use it as a shaker or you don't have to. Um, but it makes a card. Isn't that cute? So I got that. And then I got some other items because of the 20% off um, your order. I think it was 20% off your order. Um, I got this Hello set. And that coordinates with this stamp set here, which has got also the paper hug. So this is Hugs and Hellos. And I did pick up the paper hug as well, die set. And then I got, let's see, two sets here. So I got this set, which is the Big Botanicals stamps and dies. I bought the, I think these were bundles. And then, or maybe not, I got the Bouquet of Kindness stamp set. So this die cuts the actual um, flower and bundle out here. So that's what I got from Ellen Hudson. And then the last thing I got was from a D-Stash group on Facebook. Um, this is the person who runs the, uh, who I ordered from, sorry. And I think all the proceeds in this album that she has went to charity, um, Crafts for Paws. Um, so there was a sticker in it and there was these um, enamel dots. And then I got this paper tray ink um, stamp and die set. It's, I don't remember what it's called, rock on or something, but it's got the guitar in here and then it's got some sentiments. It's a $5 set from paper tray. She sold it for 10. So you got the die and the stamp. Um, I think, I don't know if that's available. Well, if it is still available, I couldn't find the die. I think the die was out of stock. Um, and then this last one is paper tray inks, tiny treats, Christmas. I didn't have this one yet. And I was thinking about the really tiny sentiments in here. Um, I made some tags for a friend and I did not share them with you all because I sent them out. <laughs> so um, when that person gets them, hopefully they will show them. Um, I believe they will. But anyway, that's it for now and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.